How Turtle Got His Shell Long, long ago. It was so long ago that there were no people. Only animals were living on Mother Earth, and Turtle did not have a shell. Turtle lived beside a large river. The river was very wide and very deep, and it flowed by very fast. Out in the middle of the river was a large island. Turtle lived in a little house made of earth and shells on the banks of the river. Each day, Turtle would wake up, stretch, and go down to the river and sit on his favorite rock and reach into the water and pick up shells. Then he'd wash them off, set them on the side, and as he was doing this, he would look into the forest and then up into the sky. This day, Turtle looked into the sky and he saw Eagle. Eagle was circling high above and calling down to all the animals. It's a beautiful day in the forest. Turtle looked up at Eagle and Turtle started to cry. I don't want to be a turtle. I want to be an eagle. That way I could call down to all the animals in the forest and tell them it's going to be a nice day. Turtle picked up the shells he had cleaned, walked back to his house on the banks of the river, went inside and carefully patted and pushed the shells into the floor and into the ceiling. After working on his house, he went to sleep. The very next day, Turtle came out of his house, went to his favorite rock, and sat on it. He reached into the water, picked up shells, cleaned them off, and looked into the forest. This day, Turtle saw Moose. And Moose with his large antlers, scratched the trunk of a tree. The tree began to sway back and forth, back and forth. As the tree moved, the fruit on the branches fell to the ground. Well, when the other animals saw this, the animals scampered to the base of the tree, picked up the fruits and ran home to feed their families. When Turtle saw this, Turtle cried and complained again. I don't want to be a turtle anymore. I want to be a moose. That way I can shake the trees and food will fall down for the animals and they can take the food home to feed their families. Turtle picked up his shells, went home, and again pressed them into the floor and into the ceiling and went to sleep. The next morning, Turtle woke up, went back to his favorite rock and sat on it. He picked shells out of the water, washed them off, put them on the side. Then he looked into the forest. This day, when Turtle looked into the forest, Turtle saw Bear. And Bear was growling very loudly. Grrr! Turtle stood on his tiptoes to see what all the loud growling was about. He saw that Bear was scolding Big Raccoon who was picking on Little Squirrel. Bear was telling Raccoon, We don't have bullies in the forest. We must all live together in harmony in a good way. Now, no more picking on Squirrel, do you understand? We understand, said Raccoon and Squirrel. We understand. Then go off into the forest and live in harmony. Raccoon and Squirrel scampered off into the forest. Well, when Turtle saw that, Turtle said, I don't want to be a turtle anymore. I want to be a bear.
That way I can stop the big ones from picking on the little ones, and there won't be any bullying going on. Turtle picked up his shells, went home, and again pressed them into the floor and into the ceiling. Then he went to bed. The next morning, at sunrise, Turtle heard screaming and hollering outside his house. Help! 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 help. Turtle put his head outside the door and saw all the animals of the forest running down to the water, jumping into the river, and swimming out to the large island in the middle of the river. Turtle wanted to know why all the animals were running. Turtle tried to stop Bear, but Bear went by very fast and did not stop. Turtle tried to talk to Moose, but Moose went by very fast and did not stop. None of the animals of the forest would stop and listen to Turtle's question. Just then, Turtle looked up into the sky, and when he did, he saw Eagle, and Eagle was calling down, Run! Run! Everyone, run! It's a forest fire! Forest fire! Swim out to the island! Run! Turtle had never been in a forest fire, but he had heard about them from the older animals, and he was very, very frightened. He ran back into his house to hide. Just then, a huge tree branch over his house fell down and squeezed Turtle in his house so tightly that he could hardly move or breathe. He gasped for air. <gasps> oh. Turtle said, I must get out of here or I'll burn up in the fire. Turtle took his two front feet push them outside the door. Then he took his two back feet and he pushed them outside the door. He pulled and pulled and pulled, but he couldn't budge. So Turtle took a deep breath, the biggest deep breath he had ever taken before in his whole life. <gasps> and he pulled and pulled so hard that he popped out. And when he popped out of his house, all the shells that he had collected and put on the floor of his house and on the ceiling of his house were now squished to his stomach and squished to his back. He ran down to the river's edge and was getting ready to jump in to swim out to the island to save himself from the fire when he heard the voices of tiny animals crying for help. Help, 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 please help, turtle, help, help us, please. The water is too deep, it flows too fast. We are too little and we will all drown or burn in the fire. Please, turtle, help us. But, but what can I do? I'm only a little turtle. I, I... Wait, look! I have a shell now. Everyone, climb up on my back, quickly. So the little animals, the ants, the caterpillars, the grasshoppers, the crickets, all climbed onto Turtle's back. Turtle swam out to the island. He let the animals off on the island and went back and picked up more of the little ones. Back and forth, Turtle went, carrying them to the island. On the last trip, the fire was very close to the water, but Turtle was able to swim in and save all the little ones. Turtle was very tired when he reached the island. He was so tired that he collapsed. A few moments later, he woke up to the sounds of all of the animals on the island shouting, Hooray for Turtle! Hooray for Turtle! Well, Turtle stood up and said, What is all this hooray for the Turtle? The first one to come over to Turtle was Eagle. And Eagle said, Turtle, you are a hero. Turtle said, Me? A little turtle? A hero? Eagle said, Yes, turtle, 
You are a hero. The next animal to come over was Moose, and Moose said, Yes, Turtle, Eagle is right. You are a hero. Turtle smiled and began to like the sound of being called a hero. The next one to come over was Bear, and Bear said, Turtle, you are a hero today. Turtle, you made us all remember our first lesson, that the big ones must always look after the little ones first. But we only thought about ourselves and did not care what happened to the little ones. We ran to the river, jumped in, and swam out to the island to save ourselves. But you, Turtle, you remembered the little ones. And Turtle, you don't ever have to wish to be anyone except who you are and continue to do good things, and share those good things. And Turtle, you'll always be a hero. And that's how Turtle got his shell. <laughs>